Hey y'all, this is Archangel M here with Maneater. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. While they appreciate human sacrifices, the eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis. So distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. Now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64 ounce gas station soda of large marine predators.
This trawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. With the hunters in pursuit of a dangerous shark, those closest to them prepare for the possibility that they might come home. mythic statue.
off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators.
water seethes into a crimson foam. Time million dollar minutes, Mama Maybell. of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marines. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Blah, blah, late stage capitalism.
Every summer, Port Clovis plays host to the Megasonic Electro Carnival, giving a real boost to the local MDMA industry. Shark attack too often provokes Port Clovis locals into killing every swimming creature along the coast. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. The hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime, there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier-mâché. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything.
To look at the coast is to recognize that the boundary between sea and land is transitory, and that all Port Clovis considered removing these naval mines after the war, but the city had already spent its annual budget booking a nickelback cover band for the 4th of July. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Viewers may find this appalling, but it's just nature doing its work. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. Lacking sufficient sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurt hurricanes and tropical storms. The idea that shorelines belong to the public comes from Roman Emperor Justinian, but only because he wasn't able to consult with the Association of Resort Developers if there is a very real risk of drowning while surfing. But at least you'll leave behind a cool-looking skeleton. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive... A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities.
Local resorts have responded to sea level rise by importing 285,000 tons of sand and counting. Whites have never successfully been bred or kept in captivity. So that didn't stop my brother-in-law Randy from trying. While its favorite dish is a classic sole munier, today the bull settles for something more simple. In the ocean, even the smallest minnow can swim circles around humans. While fostering a balanced ecosystem is a complex and multifaceted process, what harm could arise from killing a bunch of seals? Another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined process servers. Their boats laden with bench warrants and half a day. Hey, this has been Archangel M. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Till next time.